Cow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Passport OG. I always call him Passport Pops. You know, I, I, I give him shout outs here and there when we do clips of him, but this is actually a video from his channel. Um, he did a really good one recently, so let's give him the man some support and please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And let's get to that chow. It's chow time. If a woman needs love, a man needs respect. But it's almost easy for us to say, well, he can get my respect when he earns it. Can you imagine if your husband said she can have my love when she earns it? All right. Everybody We've all seen the headlines. I'm Gen Z, men in my generation not dating. Why should we? Young men reveal why so many of them are single. Dates feel more like job interviews. 57% of single adults in the U.S. not looking to date. Have you ever asked yourself, what's the underlying commonality that's causing this? Good morning. Cheers. Let's hear it. And f Greg Abbott. Have a great day. At first glance, what this seems fuck? to be just a run-of-the-mill TikTok. This is a young lady who does Dougie dances, and here she's making a political statement. I don't even know what Dougie dances are however decided to comment and say you cute and i don't even like skinny girls now back to the dougie which is pretty much the main thing she does on her no. TikTok. and her reply is do you need to sit in time out and think about your actions please leave me alone pound and then her tags what? and this set off a little bit of a firestorm in her comments <laughs> so here you can see some more of the interaction that happened on the tread after I don't even think the man said anything. You cute. I don't even like skinny girls. Now go back to doing what you're doing. All right. I mean, it was a little jab, but it wasn't that bad of a jab. He made his comment. No, because I went to your page and you literally look like bird ish that smears on your windshield. Go take care <laughs> of those bastard kids you got. I screamed for you to think that was okay to say that I got 13 likes. Did nobody ask you what the F you liked? <laughs> if you don't take your sweet and low A some on somewhere, who asks you, Dusty Milk Dud, why are you in black women's business? Not a compliment. So you can see that the comments went left pretty quickly. Yeah. And for the original comment, you cute and I don't even like skinny girls. Now back to the Dougie. I don't know if I see an excessive amount of negativity in that comment. Just I'm Again, with like I said, Pops nagging, which one. may have come from just listening to dating coach videos or something like that. But I'm sure that it going that negative that quickly probably surprised him. <laughs> and of course, she responded. You know what's so crazy to me? It's like the audacity of ugly men to always have to tell women if they're attractive or not, or if they find them cute. The audacity of ugly men. When literally men. no one asked. And then you want to say, and I don't even like skinny girls. Does anyone even like you? No matter what you look like. Can't you just take the freaking criticism and just move on instead of having to clap back and, you know, talk shit about his looks and everything? Because he didn't say anything about your looks in a sense. He said you were cute. Then you called up ugly. Like, inside of your soul, your personality, does anyone even like that? It is the name. Again, he said you're cute. He, he's not even attracted to, to skinny girls. So he, even though he's not attracted to your type, he still thinks you're cute. You call them ugly, dusty, <laughs> and whatever else you just said right there. Name of your true self, you've only forgotten. Passport bros can be explained with two simple words. If a woman needs love, a man needs respect. But it's almost easy for us to say, well, he can get my respect when he earns it. Yep. Can you imagine if your husband said she can have my love when she earns it? Mm -hmm. Just as much as women need love, your husband needs respect. respect. Not only was he created to be able to need this, to receive it, he was built that way. He's going to be drawn to the places where he actually does receive it. This is correct. He's going to be drawn to the places where he actually does receive it. Bam. He's going to be drawn to the places <laughs> where he actually does receive it. So this is her response TikTok to his comment, you cute and I don't even like skinny girls now back to the Dougie. And of course, 
the followers of hers roasted him. <laughs> Does anyone even like you? Can you please do a, this you? Cause boy, when I clicked on that profile photo of his, and that's his profile photo, guy with a jacket. The man doesn't even look that bad. Bow tie, glasses, bald head, normal guy. I think you hurt his feelings. He really thought he was giving you a compliment. And this is his first apology. I was wrong, I apologize. I hope you have a good weekend and keep doing the Dougie. But second apology. I yeah, like he thinks you're cute and you you weren't doing what your normal content was. He's like, get back to it. I like, what, I like your normal content. Oh man, I was like, People are so sensitive nowadays. You can't even comment things like construct constructively. He wasn't shooting on her. He said, you're cute. You know, you're not actually the type of girl I usually go for, but you're cute. Can you go big? Hey, get back to the Dougie. I love your Dougie content. You know, like that's pretty much what he was saying. Their clap back was this motherfucker is ugly. Does he even have a good fucking soul? And I'm like, well, he's probably uglier on the inside than he is fucking outside and shit like that. Like, what the fuck? I said you were cute. Why you got to call me ugly? You need a hug. Well, not apology, but. And then the response, facts are facts. This is why I'm adamantly <laughs> against facts, letting really. men with no hairline. So we just say women are ugly. We can just say facts are facts and uh, not get any pushback in any other way or being emotional or anything because facts are facts and speak to me no thank you ball buford i think tf not by someone called the wig influencer there's this one comment by a gentleman who said he could have just said you're cute and left it at that instead of throwing out his preferences but saying that or not i just get an overall feel from what's wrong with throwing out his preferences he said you're cute and he threw out his preference and he's like hey i like your dougie stuff from the responses on the trend that are very hostile. If you don't look a certain way, you're just gonna get met with a level of... You know, I get this hostility in my comments from my other commenters that are males. Like my some of my male commenters comment normal stuff, normal stuff that they observe, and then I have other male commenters attacking on them, saying things on them. I'm like, I don't get it. I don't really delete any of my comments or like remove comments and I usually approve everything unless it's like like pretty horrible shit, which actually YouTube takes care of mostly anyways. I, I try, People seem to think I delete comments or something. I don't touch that stuff. I just go to my hidden and then just approve everything most of the time and let YouTube do its thing. Why? Because I think people are allowed to say what they say. Just don't fucking attack people like some of the comments I do see. There's no reason for that. I mean, hostility, really, that you might not even be ready for. And I right? think, to be honest with you, it took him by surprise. So what's Luke got to do with this? Well, there's a wise man that I know, and he had this to say about things in the modern times. And women have been, girls have been trained to be insufferable toward men, I almost have a hatred toward men. Yeah too entitled they want too much they're too irritating you know you're basically going you're basically actually applying for a job that you have to pay for okay that's that's damn let's let that sink in man like you have to apply for a job that you have to pay for that's a pretty strong statement right there problem where right now that's come guys are, don't want to be around women anymore because it's not fun no. If you don't enjoy something, you're not going to be around it. Enjoy the boot camp workout. In Return of the Jedi, Luke is, he's appealing to the soft inner nature that he knows is still there, or he hopes is still there, even though Vader is menacing on the outside. And so you could kind of see the parallel in that you're paying a compliment to someone who is kind of defiant, if you will, or maybe even resistant. And it's just a hope that maybe underneath that tough outer shell is a nice softer young lady inside but if that doesn't work more guys are going to start pulling billy blanks <laughs> do you remember billy blanks do you remember tybo i remember well, him when i was he young, has yes. his own happily ever after story he moved to japan mm. found himself a wife and he is living happily ever after no oh. i think for guys lovely family I love I loved him when Taibo. I, I thought it was so cool, like funny that it was like one of the biggest things when I was a kid. That are trying to date in current day, modern, whatever you call it. 
you really only have two options. If the resistance is too high and it's just too difficult to get it done, either you're going to quit or you're going to go somewhere else. Kudos to the modern women who are competing against and surpassing men in their career accomplishments. But I think one thing that should not be forgotten is that men in the dating market will always respond to kindness, softness, and respect. Something I fear is being lost in the current dating market. Whew, shout out to Passport Pops. You know, that was some good chow. It's nice to hear from OGs like him that he lives in Japan. He lives his life. He does what he does. He doesn't have to do this content. He does this to help out the young men to like find themselves just like red pill seems to do and it just gets taken out of context passport bros getting out of context i get comments about oh passport bros are pedos oh they got caught killing got caught ki got killed and stuff like this and i'm just like you do know that shit happens like everywhere it doesn't matter if they were passport bros or not like it is what it is like if you want to talk about like groups of people like that like let's talk about the democrats what have they done look and then all the things that they're pushing do they say spouse the same things that they do no there's not all of them but there's a good chunk of them so it's not like i, I can control every passport bro and whatever it is I can, or i can control all of the red pill people no all the red pill do whatever the fuck they want right i can only go by what i go by and you know push my own content all right, all right please like and subscribe down below i really appreciate that and i'll catch you guys next time shout out